go. Hi everyone, David Malley from Tech Know How. And today we're gonna to show you the difference in strength between Gorilla Glue, Super Glue, and then different variants of Super Glue. From cotton, we're gonna add cotton from a cotton ball, concrete, powdered concrete, wood ash, and coffee. And we're gonna see which coffee grinds. We're gonna see which one is the strongest. We take in, uh, tooth, or, um, popsicle sticks and glue them together over, I would say about a week ago. So they're all fully cured and ready to go. So we're gonna start off, we got three pound weights, we got 10 pound weights, we got a 15 pound weight, and we got a 25 pound weight. Let's see how strong these things are. So we're gonna start with Gorilla Glue all the way down the end. So let's put this on there. Well, it broke already, so that one is done. Super, the Gorilla Glue has broken on three pounds. Okay, so next is Super Glue. Let's try that, same thing. Let's see if it stays on here. It's got the weight on there, it's holding it. It's still holding it, you can see it's still there. So Super Glue is stronger than the Gorilla Glue with three pounds. Let's put 10 pounds on there. Let's see if it can hold that. Probably not. Nope, that one broke. Okay, so Super Glue breaks at 10 pounds. So now we got Super Glue and cotton. Let's see what that does. We'll do three pounds. Heard it crack a little bit, but it's still holding it. Okay, so let's put 10 pounds on there. It's still holding, actually. Look at that. It slipped. Maybe we gotta bring these closer together. Let's try that. So the glue is stronger than the wood here, clearly. So that one's pretty strong. That's the strongest so far. It's still held together. You can see that. It's just, we need stronger wood. All right, so next, we're gonna go to super glue and concrete because we could put, well, we could go and put this on there and break it and it breaks. So at 15 pounds, that one's strong enough that that one holds 10 pounds, but it breaks. The wood broke, not the glue, amazingly, as I was saying earlier. So that's a really strong bond, the uh, super glue and cotton. Just needs stronger wood. So next we got super glue and concrete. Let's see what that one does. Well, obviously it's good with three pounds. There it is balancing with three pounds. Let's do 10 pounds. Nope, 10 pounds break. So the one that was the strongest so far was super glue and cotton. The only one to go to 15 pounds. So far, let's see, super glue and wood ash. Let's see what that does. Still holding three pounds. Let's do this one, this is coffee. We'll do them both, let's see. Holding at three pounds, 10 pounds. All right, so we got wood ash. Still holds it, it just can't stay straight. So we'll move these in a little bit, like I do with the other one. Let's try it again. Nope, 10 pounds breaks. That one did break on the glued substance of concrete or uh, wood ash. So that's not as strong as the cotton. Now let's try the uh, super glue and coffee. We're gonna try three pounds. And amazingly, the wood is bending and not the, uh, this one's about as strong as, that's amazing. So coffee is about, look at that. It is bent all the way up oh, there, it broke. Finally, it broke at the very bottom of bending that much. So the strongest one that made it to where it finally was made it past the 10 was the super glue and cotton. That was interesting. So now we know that if we glue, glue wood together with super glue and cotton, we're gonna have the strongest bond of anything here. It broke on the wood. So you can see there, it's the only one that did that. Interesting stuff. So we're gonna do some more interesting stuff like this in the future. Um, let me know what you think, what you like. Uh, thanks again and have a great day.